Back to school with our new ABCs. Let's stay safe together. Yo, what's up guys? This is Lobet, the Iron Man Educator. You have been a wonderful audience following me on my running journeys. And I have to admit, I haven't been doing much about the early childhood side of my channel. So with this circuit breaker coming to an end, Agda has actually announced a series of precautionary measures to educate children, parents and educators on how to cope with the reopening of the childcare centers. So one of such measures is recently released called the back to school with our new ABCs. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's stay safe together. Yo, check this out. So cute. This is the latest poster born from Agda itself, joining things with MSF and Agda. So they came out with these posters to make it simple for the kids to understand what to do when they are in their preschools. They come in the form of a rhyme which is very catchy and it's very nice for the kids to actually recite. Well, maybe it's just for the older kids like the K1 and K2s, but it's fun. It's very easy for them to understand as well. So let's take a look at each various sections from the A to the B and to the C's. Well, before we begin, do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my new videos that I put on the channel. Right? Remember? Let's go. Right, for the back to school with our new ABCs, there are actually three segments. Basically, there are safe access, safe behaviors, and safe classrooms. So I'm gonna break it down to all these three segments for you to understand what they simply mean. Okay? Check this out. A is for actions to keep us safe in school. Avoid coming if we're sick and don't feel cool. Always check our temperature through the day, and if we're sick, Tell our teacher so we stay away. Now you have heard the safe access section of this whole rhyme. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? It's very easy for the kids to actually digest what this is all about. Basically to learn some of the actions to keep themselves safe. So when they're sick, don't come to school and take temperatures throughout the day. And if they are not feeling well, tell the teachers. As simple as that. Alright, that's for the A part. Alright, for safe access, basically what it means, the very 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 most important thing is to stay at home if you're unwell. So for the most common symptoms like fever, flu-like symptoms, cough, even sore throat and the lack of appetite, all these are symptoms of being unwell. So for during this period of time, it's pretty sensitive, so especially for kids. And there is actually another disease that's going around which is quite scary though. It's called the Kawasaki disease. So to play safe, actually MOH advice to keep the kids at home. So if your child is unwell, stay home. And also, if any of the family members, even if your child is well, if any of your family members is unwell, right, we have to advise parents to keep the child at home as well. Because all these diseases, they are very highly contagious. Especially the one that I just mentioned, the Kawasaki disease. It affects preschool children a lot. Next is actually to do a health and temperature checks on entry and throughout the day. Basically, Agda actually advised to do three checks at least. One is upon arrival and one is in the middle of the day. Now we are supposed to fix a, a particular timing. So it's either you choose uh, before the nap time or after the nap time. So for my case, I will usually do more. Okay, so one is before the nap, one is after the nap because you never know what happened in between the nap time, right? And then the last one will be the, the time that's before the dismissal. So all this will ensure that throughout the day, they are safe with us. Next is we do not permit entry to any of the staff if they are sick they are encouraged to stay home because we won't know whether what kind of symptoms are they suffering from. It can be a normal common flu or just normal fever but we won't know. Next would be if they have family members who are on the LOA leave of absence stay home notice or home quarantine order. So all this we will not permit entry for these people to come in to the center. And last of all, under the safe access, is we only allow essential visitors to come into the center. What I mean by essential visitors, people like those people who maintain the centers, like the plumbers, the delivery person, even when they come in, we will usually do all the essential health checks and the background checks to make sure that they have not traveled or they are not come in contact with people who have COVID, right? So these are all the things that fall under this safe access, right? 
B is to behave the correct way. Be safe, stand and sit away. Best to wash our hands till they are clean. Best to not share food, drinks and things we bring. Being responsible is the right thing. Next is actually safe behaviours. So very easy to understand, right? So basically also the same thing to let the kids understand how easy it is to behave during this period of time. So tell them to behave properly, stand the right way, wash their hands, keep themselves clean, not to share food, and just be responsible. That's the only thing that they have to do. All right, the next segment is actually safe behaviors. So for other safe behaviors, we're actually telling the kids that they have to wear their face shield, face masks at all times. Even when they reach the center, only with the exception of at least two times of the day where they can actually take it out. One is actually when they are having a nap and the other one is actually when they are actually having their meals. So these are the two times that they have to take out their face shield and face mask. Other than that, they have to put on the face shield, face mask throughout the whole day when they are in the childcare centre. Next will be, we encourage the children to actually wash their hands every two hours and not touch their face or their mask. Not just the kids, even the, the teachers, the educators themselves are also encouraged to actually wash their hands at least every two hours. And within the centre itself, wherever possible, they have to keep a safe distance from one another. While they are having lessons, they can still have a proper lesson but they will have to sit further apart not like the last time when they can sit next to each other they can touch each other now they have to keep a very very safe distance from each other even when they are as a group between class to class there should be at least a two meter distance apart as well that is the kind of safe distance that we're talking about even for teachers they no longer can give hugs like what they used to do that is how we have to keep that kind of safe distance only with the exception of the younger ones like the play group where holding them up carrying them is pretty essential when they are emotional, when they are sad or when they need comfort that can't be helped otherwise the kids will not be able to settle down so next one will be uh, cleaning of the classrooms and the equipments frequently as advice wash your toys or sanitize equipments daily and after each use have to sanitize and avoid sharing of equipment and materials across classrooms even within the classroom itself we have to limit as much as possible so i would typically advise educators is to set aside certain things like chairs they will have to mark their names the floor we have the certain markings for the kids names to sit on or to situate it at when they're doing their work uh, all the stationaries will be distributed out then they will have their own equipments to handle with during the activity times even for the class activities any form of activities is no longer the whole class kind of activity so they have to keep within 10 so that's how we keep safe behaviors in check C is to keep to our class. Class by class, take turns with masks. Clean up after we eat and play. And let's continue with our ABCs each and every day. Alright, so now we have the safe classrooms, which is the last part, which is the C for the ABCs, which is very, very simple. It's just to keep to their own class and take turns and to clean up after they have finished eating and playing. And also remember their ABCs, straight and simple. Now, the last part is actually safe classrooms. To put simply is, we do not mix the teachers or staff across the classes. Agda actually advised not to have teacher to go around too many classes. Wherever possible, that teacher will just stay with the class. Even within the, the group itself, the class, let's say a class size of 20, they have two groups of 10, 10 each. This 10 per group, they're not supposed to redistribute again. So that means they'll have to stay in that group of 10 until we are okay to combine. Right now, they still have to be in that group and permanently in that group, that's all. Also for parents, pick up and drop off time, we will have to stagger them so that there will not be groups of parents gathering outside the, the center. Because right now, all parents are not supposed to enter the center at all. Not even the, the new parents or the new children's parents, they're not supposed to come in at all. To avoid the parents from clustering outside the center they have to do their own social distancing but we also have to do our part by telling them that they have to come at certain time so that they will not crowd around the area and they will be safer also the last and very least is not to have staff deployed across centers during this time so that's all for the safe classrooms basically this whole rhyme is just to let them get a hang of it and understand that they can play their part
All right, something serious. A disclaimer. No children will harm in the making of the videos. Do not try this at home. Heck, the only thing that is probably Heidi will have, Heidi, which is the voiceover that you heard, cute, right? Uh, is that she'll have a bit of dryness in her throat and a good laugh with Mummy Rana. Yeah, that's the mummy's name who helped her to do the recording of her voice. So a special shout out and a special credit to Heidi Lam Ji Sing and Rana, Mami Rana Sia for agreeing to do this with me. All right, do remember to share this video to those who have little ones and they are going to their preschools and understand how to prepare themselves for the reopening of the childcare centers and work with the early childhood educators. They are trying their best to help you out as well as helping the children out. They appreciate their hard work. And also, finally, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, The Iron Man Educator. And remember to smash that notification bell to be notified of my latest videos. Once again, see you in the next one. Bye.